Hey my beautiful friends, it's Angie here and today's video I'm going to be going through a bin of empties that I've had and I have to go through these because I have got to get these thrown away. <laughs> Bottom line, I'm not collecting anymore, I've got to get this done. Alright, so I just wanted to go through some beauty items and skincare items and actually I have like, I think there's some like shampoo and conditioner in here things like that and then also um well let's just get into it you'll see all right so the first thing that i want to talk about are these hair skin and nail gummies um these are by nature's bounty and this container did come in my fabfitfun box for spring 2017 um i had never tried these i had wanted to try some gummy vitamins just to see you know how they work out for me and actually I'm really happy with the results that I had from taking these for let's see I took them for a little over a month there's 40 gummies in here and it says to take two a day I didn't take I didn't always take two a day sometimes I just did just one a day so maybe my results would have been even better but I feel like my hair is silkier softer um, I don't notice as many split ends and they taste really good these ones were the strawberry and I don't know I don't have anything bad to say about these would I repurchase them I I believe I would I think I'm gonna check out you know Target or Walmart and see if I can find these in the store but yeah I don't have anything bad to say about those so I, I highly enjoyed them actually and then my next uh, empty is the all May eye makeup remover pads now I have purchased these multiple times and I just absolutely love these I just recently got another one because I I've tried like the cotton balls and even like the cotton rounds and stuff and for some reason I always get cotton fibers in my eyes I don't know <laughs> If it's just me like pressing too hard or if it's I personally think it's the product like I bought the cotton squares from Target and I swear to God every time I used them I got cotton fibers in my eyes and it just killed me like sandpaper so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the all May makeup remover pads because I love these they're they're like super easy on your eyes these ones that I buy are Let's see, I thought they were first like sensitive skin, but they just say gentle oil free. Next thing is the Proactive Solution Revitalizing Toner. I used to use Proactive Solution when I was younger, like even like in my 20s, religiously, it kept my skin clear. Um, and then for some reason, like I stopped using it for a while, like towards the end of my 20s, like late 20s. And I just recently, tried the toner again and actually I had tried the face wash too I bought the whole like three step kit and I threw the face wash out like it totally <laughs> burned me <laughs> so bad and I don't know if they've changed the formula or what it is but it just did not agree with my skin at all and I kept the toner because I was using it on like my chest and shoulders and stuff and but when I used it on my face oh my goodness it burned me so bad so I don't know what you've done to your product proactive but or rodent in fields I should say but I will not be getting proactive solution ever again so but for whatever reason I guess my skin is getting more sensitive as I'm getting older which is kind of weird but it is so um, another product that I tried out instead of using like an expensive face wash I bought the pink grapefruit foaming active scrub by uh, Equate which is the Walmart brand and this says compared to the Neutrogena oil-free acne wash pink grapefruit foaming scrub so I was kind of using this like in between the more expensive Neutrogena um, face wash that I use and now I use the one for stubborn acne and it's working really well for me it's clearing my skin up um, but I was kind of using this in between like when I would run out and stuff or if I just wanted to do like a quick scrub because it does have like the scrubbing beads in it 
and it was okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this though because I felt like it irritated my skin. Not necessarily like irritated it like the proactive did, but it dried it out. And I have super oily skin, so for something to dry my skin out is just, obviously it's too harsh. My mom bought me some of the Proactive Plus Deep Cleansing Wash, and this lasted me for quite a while. Um, I just recently ran out, and I have to say for, if, if you get like pimples on like your chest area or your shoulders, um... I actually really like this wash but just be careful don't try to like use it as a face wash because it is not made for that in my opinion and it will um, dry out your face these I want to talk about <laughs> this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea deep dive cleansing gel but it's the itty bitty version and I bought these these came in little trial kits with a couple other products and I ended up paying it was this and then there was like a friction stick I think it was called and then like a little silicone and I mean little it's like this big silicone scrubbing pad I'll have to show you guys in another video um, but I thought that this was going to be a lot bigger than it was and as you can see like it's itty bitty it's like the size of my thumb literally <laughs> so this is approximately 0.25 fluid ounces so if you see on their website something that's like 10 or between 10 and like 13 dollars and it seems like it's too good to be true it probably is and it's gonna be itty bitty like travel size um, as far as the face wash goes it was just okay I felt like I um, didn't have enough product you know to actually give it a chance um, but it didn't it didn't wow me to be honest my next empty is just the Dove Advanced Care Cool Essentials 48 hour antiperspirant I buy this in the bigger pack at Sam's Club and it lasts me for a long time like I'm talking hmm, I want to say probably seven or eight months I feel like because <laughs> it comes in a pack of like five or six plus you get a travel size one so it's a really good deal if uh, if you're a Sam's Club member or I don't know what they have at Costco they might have something like this at Costco for the deodorants but I like this deodorant because um, once again I have really sensitive skin and other deodorants that I've tried like Suave and stuff like that um, even like ladies Mitchum and things that are supposed to be good for your skin like have made me super itchy and given me rashes and stuff so I feel like the Dove surprisingly hasn't done that so speaking of Dove this is like my favorite um, dry shampoo ever <laughs> my husband doesn't care for the smell of it but I think that it smells really good and I oh and I also like Dove shampoo and conditioner um, I haven't used it in a while but I like the scent of the Dove shampoo and hair products so but this is the dry shampoo that I like to use and I ran out of this so I definitely have to get some more I have used this for a number of years and it's great I um, I like to use it even just to give my hair some volume even if it's clean you know to just like give it a little boost but yeah, this stuff is has been a lifesaver with my clinicals and everything cuz my hair my hair type like I'm so oily that I can take a shower at nighttime and then when I get up at like 4 in the morning for clinicals, I can already feel my hair starting to get oily cuz I just like sweat in my sleep, I guess. So, this has been a total lifesaver for clinicals in nursing school <laughs> another thing that I recently ran out of and I did repurchase more of was the macadamia deep repair mask 
and I love this. It smells wonderful and I feel like it has helped me grow my hair out longer. Um, and I think that this, the, between this and the vitamins that I mentioned before, um, my hair is definitely shinier, um, it's silkier, and it's softer, and I have noticed a big difference in my hair. So, and I know that this is like super expensive at Walgreens and Ulta, but I found it on Amazon for, I think it was at least $10 cheaper than what the other stores sell, and it's the same exact size that they sell, so. Go figure. Next, I just, I don't know why I threw this in here, just because it's an empty. Um, I really like this hand soap. It's Dial, and it's the Himalayan Pink Salt and Water Lily. This stuff smells amazing, um, and that's why it's like my favorite hand soap, but you can get it for 99 cents at Walmart. I don't know about like everyone's area, but here in Ohio, we get it for 99 cents, so I mean, that's less than the Dollar Tree even, so. <laughs> okay, so the next product, I had purchased this um, just to try and help control some of the oils in my skin and set my makeup for the day because sometimes I have 12 to 15 hour days at the hospital, so I just wanted to get something that's gonna, you know, help set everything so everything's just not completely melting off five minutes into work. And it's the Urban Decay D-Slick makeup setting spray and it's the oil control and I feel like that this definitely works it didn't break my skin out or anything it I didn't have any allergic reactions to it I did notice my makeup staying on longer and um, as far as the oil control I think it did help with oil somewhat but I still had to like blot and things like that but yeah it helped my makeup stay on longer so I was really surprised by that. The next thing I want to talk about is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation and this one does have the SPF 15 in it. Um, it claims to be a 12 hour makeup and I personally I liked it. Um, this was fairly light beige, so I wasn't happy with the color. I just felt like my face looked so white compared to, or lighter compared to my neck. Um, I'm not sure why they shade matched me with this, but I had to use like bron bronzer to make myself feel like I didn't look like Casper, the friendly ghost, you know what I mean? So the next time, um, I'm just going to listen to my intuition and go with the shade that I think is right for me and not go with what a salesperson tells me to go with. <laughs> if you're looking for something that's like sweat proof, um, or will not sweat proof, but will stay on longer, you know, in the summer if you're sweating or if you go to the beach or to the pool, I felt like this did um, consistently keep like a mostly full coverage um, and then it withstood like the the moisture and the humidity and everything so I was highly impressed with this um, the thing that I didn't like was that my face I would see my face like breaking out more often using this and I think maybe it's just because of the full coverage and it being such a thick foundation because it really does come out like a thick cream, if you will. So I didn't appreciate my face breaking out, but as far as like needing a full coverage and something that's going to last through like humidity and everything, it works. I mean, if that's what you're looking for, it definitely works. Next foundation that I wanna talk about is a Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup. Um, this is the one that has like a blemish treatment in it. And I, this is like my tried and true um, foundation. I've used it for, pff, I've used this shade for like the past six years. I usually alternate between this and um, the Berry Essentials foundation. I love this makeup. I, I just repurchased another one. Um, if you're curious, I'm actually nude. 04 is the shade that I use and then the last thing I want to talk about is the makeup removing uh, cleansing towelettes and these are by members mark um, that is a Sam's Club brand and I got these in a big box with like I don't even know you get 20 wipes in a in a pack here 
and I believe it came with like eight packs or something and we got we got it for like eight dollars and change like okay that's insane I mean you and then when I used them before I used them I was like oh gosh you know the the deal was so awesome that I was kind of scared that they were gonna be like you know crappy but when I use them I'm like well wow, these are like as nice as like the pawns ones that you pay you know for for something for for a little pack so I was pleasantly surprised by this um, this has definitely been one of my favorites and I definitely will repurchase if you're getting so much more for your money than you would just buying like the smaller packs at like Ulta or Target or Walmart but that's all I have for my empties, you guys. Now I can finally throw these away and my husband will be happy that I'm not keeping empty containers around. Because <laughs> he was on to me about that. He's like, why do you have a bin with empty containers? <laughs> He's like, you need to throw your trash away. Ugh. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. And God bless you. And just take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.